What's up guys, it's Nick here at Gemini Reptiles and we're back with another episode. In today's video we're going to be talking about Trichorhina tomentosa, also known as the dwarf white isopods. So today we're going to be culturing them. I have a small culture here. This was actually seeded from the main culture, but I got the main culture at Rexpo here in New York, up at Rochester. I do believe I got it November 4th. I'm not quite positive, but they've been culturing themselves in these little containers. Um, but it's about time for them to get an upgrade, have them breed a little bit better for me. Um, so with that, let's get started. We're going to need a few things. This right here is a 6-quart container. There it is, a six quart container. And what we're going to be using for a substrate, we're going to be using the Zilla Jungle Mix. This is made with fur and sphagnum peat moss. I personally prefer this one because it's light and airy and it's going to hold humidity extremely well. So, with that, let's get into it. What we're going to do is we're going to add a few cups full of the substrate we're going to do about halfway to three quarters to the top of this thing that way it'll have plenty of room to bury themselves so i can bury some leaves as well um and with isopods they are dentrivores so what they do is they eat dead or decaying plant matter um they also eat organic matter such as you know decaying plants as well as decaying animals um i had a cricket in one of my enclosures and some of my giant canyon isopods devoured it. It was pretty neat to watch because I haven't seen it before. But with that, we're going to fill this up to about a quarter of the way. And I will see you guys after that. Alright, now that we got the substrate in, we got it to about halfway, I would say. A little bit over halfway. But next thing we do is we're going to add the isopods. Now you're just going to dump the entire culture in there. If we can get the top off. There we are. I'm gonna dump the entire culture, make sure everything's in there. Get a little bit of stuff at the bottom. We're just gonna scoop that out. No isopods left behind. Now what you want to do is you just want to kind of mix it a little bit, help the isopods get down to the bottom and everywhere in the substrate. Next what we're going to do is we're going to put some leaves in here. You can use leaves, you can use cork bark, you can use normal bark that you can find outside, sticks, cardboard, anything that decays and is somewhat a woody, pulpy material. So what we're going to be using is we're going to be using almond leaves. I've had good success with veggies that they eat, but veggies get expensive and the almond leaves, they last a while. So we're going to put those in and I will be right back. So now that we got our leaves in, we're going to give this a good misting. What you want to do, since they do like a lot of humidity, you want to spray it good, but also you want to get the leaves. Um, with the water, it kind of helps soften them so they're able to eat them a little bit easier until they start to decay a little bit faster as well. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Grab trusty spray bottle. Spray it real nice and good. So with these guys, they like it very nice and wet, but not sopping wet. They just like it humid. So what we're going to do is we're going to mist these guys a little bit. And then we're going to stick them in a warm, dark place. These guys are actually going to the top of my closet with the rest of my isopod collection. So that's about it, guys. Not too much to do with it. Um, they'll eventually end up eating the, the leaves in a few days once they start to fully decay. But with that, that's it. If you guys like this video, drop a comment, hit that like button, 
and hit that subscribe button for more content. Stay updated. Thanks, guys. Peace out.